and main purpose of getting this camera is a partial vlogging and full time mode of vlogging and the first thing that everybody is really attracted to is the front display if you press the side button over here this display from here goes off and this actually comes on the front So hey family what's up my name is T Deepak Chauhan and I am here to do the unboxing of the Xmate Stunt Lite selfie 4K selfie action camera which I've bought it from the Amazon from the Amazon uh, I got it for 3299 rupees and I the main purpose of getting this camera is a partial vlogging and full time mode of vlogging and I am very sure that there is no uh, external mic uh, option i am going to review this xmate stunt light 4k selfie action camera the most interesting thing that i found in this uh, price segment was the front display which it has you know this really attracted me i can try to do this uh, vlogging if i really feel that the 4k recording but it should be very clear and the most important thing for me is battery backup the camera clarity and the performance like the stability and is it uh, really possible to vlog with this um, camera and etc so as you can see there are specifications which says it's a dual display lcd panel front and back there are 120 wide angle lens that means it does not cover this this because it, it covers this much so i am really excited because i just don't have to shoot a small portion of the road i can really shoot a big distance with this so it says there are too many specifications here and if i just speak about the specifications the whole video would end up here so in this video i am going to record uh, uh, I'm going to record using this camera and then I am also trying I would also be trying to mount this on my helmet and then uh, you know, try to do some motor vlogging too so in this paper I have written few details which I wanted to test on this like uh, the weight if I the weight of this camera and etc I am trying to plan and do everything in detail like this this thing is this thing is very interesting to me i jumped off in nowhere but uh, the remote control switch which is the camera and the you know the recording video recording mode so okay there are the waterproof case with a clip the camera is here okay the watch or the remote and there are few clips one two one two three four five six and seven and there are also some xmate guarantee cards or some review cards here on the in the box and there are three mm tapes uh, and this is a user manual i actually know what how this uh, camera performs because one of my friend is using this camera as a secondary camera from a very long time and he is quite happy with this but not with the battery backup but still i am not going to give off any conclusions without switching this piece on so i would change the camera angle to only this area and i would try to explain you how this actually performs in this box i get all these things which are here right before us but according to us these are all really not so important except this which is the remote control which has a video option and a photo option i am really excited to use this because i wanted to put this on my bike hand, bike accelerator bar and then record video photo video for then that's how i am actually dreaming about this but still let's okay these clips and all stuff everybody would somehow figure how to do and 
I am not going to review much about these products, but the main accessory that I am going to review is the XMate Stunt Light 4K selfie action camera. So the main uh, let's try to switch. It. Okay, I will first uh, take this out from the case and let this breathe a little. Okay, oh, the camera started already. So as you can see, the cover is also still not taken off because I didn't want any scratches to fall. But if you can see the front uh, glass, it already has few scratches. I'm not sure how this clarity would work. Okay. Come on, baby. Okay, so we have the XMate stunt light camera with us and there are three buttons on the uh, body of the camera. The first one is the power button, this is the camera recording button and this is the Wi-Fi connectivity button. And the third thing I was really interested in knowing was the displays. There are two displays that's really cool in this price segment the memory card and the battery slot is here under the camera and the charging slot is here and there is no mic slot over here so that means there is an inbuilt uh, okay where is the inbuilt mic slot uh, okay i can i see that so there are two small holes here on the top so that means the microphone is here and i did try to check uh, using uh, trying to charge it with my power bank and it did charge with my power bank the first thing that attracts everybody is the dual display which is on the back and on the front uh, to switch it to the main display there is this wi-fi button and uh, yeah and this is off and this is on so as you can see that uh, this can now be used for vlogging and all stuff i would definitely be using this uh, for an to show you guys how it works mm -hmm. so the first thing we wanted to see was the dual display functionality i felt it was pretty, pretty decent this front display is also covering like too much area i am pretty sure this is 120 angle too and uh, the second thing i wanted to check was about uh, the 120 degrees wide angle so this is like uh, the distance between the camera and the box before this is like uh, you know just one you know this far the distance between the camera and the box is like four fingers maximum and you can already see this is not just covering my four fingers and the whole box as well i'm pretty impressed with this this thing man seriously i am pretty impressed with this detail functionality and the next thing i wanted to check was about um, the camera photo picture quality because when we're driving we just have this thing set up on the helmet and then we want just an image so that we can put it as a thumbnail to our youtube video so this power button also changes the mode from 4k to a 16 megapixel mode and we can we also have options to change the 16 megapixel to uh, 12 megapixel 8 megapixel 5 megapixel and 2 megapixel depending on the image uh, quality you need the video resolutions are uh, 4k 30 fps uh, 2.7k 30 fps and uh, 120 180p 60 fps 720p 120 fps i i do not want to waste any of my time neither to your time the next clip which i am going to speak would be from this action camera and after speaking hopefully before it gets dark before it gets dark i am going to mount this on my helmet and i am going to have a small ride and i'm going to show you guys the demo today i'm testing the x-mate stunt light camera 
as a part of my vlog. I did not carry my main camera and I'm just taking my dog outside for a walk. And this is just like a three person lift. And you can see the angle lowered by the camera is already very good. This is my Pulsar 220. And this is my YouTube channel. And I am trying to mount this camera for motor vlogging on this cam on this bike. And I am supposing the view angle would be like this. Tafi shoot. Shoot. Okay, okay. Relax, Tafi. Tafi, relax. And in this clip, I am trying to test the stability of the camera. I don't have any gimbal or anything. I'm just trying to record it with my hand. My dog. Can th I can already see that this is doing a pretty decent job. My friend told me that there is something called driving mode and that's, that makes the camera white balance look very good and it looks very professional as if somebody is using a I am home and I am copying all the files on my laptop and then I will upload this video hopefully by evening today. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video guys and tomorrow I am actually going for a 400 km ride. And I am using this camera as my vlogging and also for the helmet mount camera. So. To follow me regularly, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button so that we can stay connected and then we can plan rides. Alright, so.